Hello boys and girls, hello machines and machine freaks. I am here today with the Jeep. I am here also with Jason. He's going to help me try to figure out this whole turbo kit dilemma. However, I realized something yesterday and Jason just realized something now and that is this doesn't come with any hardware for some reason. It's a bolt-on kit without the bolts. We have some very, very shiny stuff installed on the Jeep. The turbo is officially on. This is what it looks like from under the Jeep. You have the headers there, goes down into some awesome, nice stainless steel piping, tubing, whatever you want to call it. And it goes up and meets up with our turbo. So we officially have a beauty on the beast. This kit came with these two ugly looking black little brackets here. Now they sent us what we believe is two of the same bracket instead of uh, you know, a pair. They just sent like a left and a left instead of a left and a right. So what I have to do here is lop off this section here, twist this over so that this mount will work on the passenger side because we believe that that driver's side is already right. This thing does have a body lift and it does have a suspension lift so we are working with that as well. So everything is sitting up higher than it's going to be. I think we probably got like a two and a half, maybe a three inch body lift on right now. And I'll probably go to a, well, I, I know for certain I'm going to have a one inch body lift. So we got to keep that into consideration as well. But man, that's looking good. We had the intercooler installed now. We had to modify that bracket like I informed you guys. We had to modify it a few different times because it was just sitting wonky every every other time we tried to put it on. So now that that's on, uh, you can see that this the pipe here, it's kind of going up at an angle and that's because it has a body lift. So we need to do away with that so everything sits right. Are we gonna run the, do you wanna run the turbo before we do the body or? Do you want to do the body first and then go for the turbo, or what do you think the plan is? I know I know the current plan is lunch, but after lunch and after we get some more parts. If, if, look over here, dude. The uh, silicone elbow, the 90 that's going into the, the throttle body, Yeah. it's currently sitting at probably a buck 10, buck 20. Yep. And, uh, you're going to find a restriction there. Yes. So, <clears throat> the solution to it is, I mean, you're going to end up with a one inch body lift. Yep. So we, we either have to take out the three inch body lift or four inch body lift. Whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. Three hockey pucks. <laughs> yeah. and, and black iron pipe. <laughs> oh, okay. And I think I saw like two or three other types of material on this side. Yeah. So yeah. unknown material. It's a, it's but a, like you were saying. It's a Canadian body lift. <laughs> so if we get the body back down, just being one inch off the frame, that angle will be much less off kilter. Absolutely. And we'll, and we'll get our we'll and same right thing here. I mean, we're going up at a ten degree angle, mm -hmm. so. But everything, everything up here is gonna, everything's going to clear. We just need to get the body back down where it belongs. Yeah. We got a little further on the turbo. You can see some lines here. These guys ran a three inch body lift and they didn't have any throttle body uh, riser. We got a one inch rough country throttle body spacer because we're running a one inch body lift. And then here's our one inch body lift with all the hardware. You know, I was really digging the hockey pucks, but uh, they're gonna have to go. So we'll switch gears and go towards the body lift for now. And we'll get the rest of the, the tubing and what else, what do we need? We need like tube and just some miscellaneous hardware and, and a new belt because our new belt that we just bought is like a half inch or one inch too short. Ready to say goodbye to your favorite feature on this thing? The hockey pucks? Yeah, are you ready? Not yet? Do you wanna do you wanna have like a celebratory montage of the beautiful hockey pucks? No. Alright, let's take them out then. <laughs> I'm already digging Rough Country's instructions. They're far from eBay special instructions that are just literally text. We have some pictures here. Thank goodness. Wow, 
Wow, I did get really dirty. Excuse the stuff on my face. I do apologize, or at least the Jeep better apologize. I have the oil pan off of the Jeep. There is a little bit of sludge in here. Not very bad. That's one of the huge benefits of taking this off. It ch You can change and clean inside here way better than any flush, any oil change will do. You're actually getting in here with brake cleaner and just cleaning this thing brand new. So I need to take this off because, well on a turbo you have an oil line that goes to your turbo that lubricates bearings. So the oil goes to the turbo, comes out this release, and then will go into the oil pan and drain into the oil pan so that way you're circulating your oil and the oil's just not burning up inside the turbo. So I ended up making a mark under here so I'll just drill that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it where a lot of people, what they do is they drill it and they like copper washer each side, I'll just weld it up. Jason's doing something outside, but while he was outside, I did some pros and cons of getting a new tub for the Jeep. Yes, a new tub. Now this tub or body is in very good condition in my opinion, considering the year and it's up north where the salt and, and very terrible roads are. All that's bad is, uh, well, this could just use some work. This side's way worse than the other, but I did a comparison to price and time. What's most effective? I, I'm not worried about which one costs more. I'm, I'm worried about which one is more doable, more enjoyable. Um, cost effective is like the third most important. I don't wanna dive into something and then like, you know, completely hate every moment of it. So that's why I want to, I did a, I did a comparison, Jason, if you wanna come check it out. I explained it to the machine freaks. With the new tub, the cons are, it's gonna take about $800 in paint, maybe more. Uh, five hours just to go get it, plus fuel. That's for the tub itself. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's nine ninety five ninety five. Oh, I've, <laughs> okay. So we're actually looking at nineteen ninety five ninety five then. Mm -hmm. And then, so so the total time I have is five hours. Cost is two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Okay. Now over on this side, we're gonna use less paint, six hundred bucks. Five hours of fab work, a hundred dollars in material. 500 for the sandblasting, which brings us to the same amount of time, five hours, but instead of cooped up in a truck, you're actually doing something. And then uh, cost, instead of 2,000, we're looking at 1,200 by reusing this tub. The Linux. That, well, that's that's something that's, one. exactly, so that's why I didn't even bring that into play. Once we have this thing off, because no matter what, whether we go new or used, this thing's gotta come off. Now once we sandblast, you know, this old tub, we can just spray it on ourselves and then for the pretty stuff on the outside, that's where we can get, you know, six inches of this professionally sprayed. Can you make out that little tube on the oil pan? That's where the oil from the turbo will go. It'll drain into the pan and then use back into the engine. I don't think I got any dirtier. I did get the oil pan in the Jeep. Starter sitting right there. One wire's gotta be hooked up to that and then that can be bolted back on. Uh, we're gonna let that gasket maker sit for a night. We have all that stuff finger tight because what happens is you, you want that uh, you want it to have a better seal. So if you let it kind of harden and then you put it into place, it forms, like I said, a better seal. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Hopefully tomorrow we fire this thing up. Until next time, 3D Machines and Jason out. Yeah.